great morning. It is Wednesday, May, let me see if I can find it, May 8th. Yes, May 8th. Wednesday, May 8th. So let's see what we have from the cards today. snuck in there to go along with this deck. They do that now and again. So, yesterday I drove to Las Cruces wanted to find a Sephora I haven't had the uh, skincare cream that I use <clears throat> all the time and uh, I drove 75 miles down 75 miles back to just get this facial cream that you can usually get it at Sephora. I get there and of course it's a Sephora, not a regular Sephora store, but a Sephora that's inside of a JCPenney's. I'm going, oh, this is great. So I get there, they do it half the brand that I use, but the one that I use is the one thing they don't carry. <laughs> They have there of that line except for the one thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that did not go well. I bought something else which I'm going to try. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, anyway. Now that I've got the cards, I haven't looked at them yet. Let's turn them over and see what we have. First card is sun, enjoy, success, and happiness. So I'm just going to show you all the cards and then I'll make some sense out of it. Next is elephant spirit, learn from the past. Oh, it's a good one. I'm here at Elephant Butte, so elephant spirit is a good one here today, learn from the past, Oop. renewal, karma, DNA, elk, earth's heartbeat, and last but not least, inner truth, the wisdom of the heart, insight, clarity, Purity, intuitive knowing, consciousness, penetrating illusion. Okay. Okay. So, let's start here. Karma. Let's start with the karma card. No matter who and what we are, we have the karabda karma, the karma that we come in with that we have to play out, no matter whether you get to realization or you don't. Even if you get to realization, to moksha, 
liberation, there is still the DNA karma which plays out in this lifetime. Okay, so nobody escapes karma. When you get ones like this Nichananda that wants to say he's going to get rid of your karma and this and that, it's not happening, okay? <laughs> and he thinks he can get away with all the dirty deeds he's doing and there's no karmic consequences. He's wrong. There are karmic <clears throat> consequences. So, you know, again, if you don't want negative karma, <clears throat> then do things that don't create negative karma. <laughs> okay. Now, some things you go through in life are really, really difficult. And you think, oh, I must have really bad karma. It must be really, really bad. Not necessarily. You know, you can be drawn into situations that are extreme, difficult, but it has nothing to do with negative karma. It just has to do with having to um, break through something. And uh, so it becomes stronger each lifetime until you deal with it. Okay, so it's not always negative karma. <clears throat> so there we have karma. <clears throat> so if you want to have success, enjoy success, and happiness <clears throat> one thing of course is to take, take care of karma the next thing is to oh, let's do this one to have some renewal now how can you do some renewal what are good ways to get renewed refreshed it's to gravitate to elk, the Earth's heartbeat. Okay, the Earth is also um, has its own demeanor, its own um, life force, if you will, and one can become attuned to that. Okay, so you open yourself up, spend some time in nature, and. Uh, get in more in alignment with the earth and the earth's heartbeat. Okay. Spend some time the inner truth. This is another thing that it takes time. You have to be in the moment. Take time out. Come to quietude. And you have to learn from the past. Now, you can't learn from the past if you're not willing to look at it. All your knee-jerk reactions are coming from what? Some past drama that's happened in your life that causes an immediate knee-jerk reaction. And it may have little to do with the actual circumstances that are happening now, but it's triggering something from the past which causes you to go into an immediate reactionary stance. Okay. <clears throat> so learning from the past means you have to sit with it, see what's coming up, how it's affecting your emotionality, how it's affecting your mind, what's starting to play out, okay. and look deeper and be able to see where it comes from, then question it, to the very depths where you can see the fallacy of what it is. Once you can see the fallacy, then at that point you can let go of it and you're not going to have to deal with that um, irrationality any longer. Okay. But again, you have to see it first you have to really get to the bottom of it and really get the whole program as to why that's happening. Why have you adopted that? Why are you believing that? Okay. Now, a lot of things that we get that are 
like knee-jerk reactionary things are from growing up. Maybe the parents or other children or some teacher, you know, was saying something that was really negative and then you adopted and believed it. Well, if you look really deeper a lot of times, you'll find out that it had nothing to do with you, okay? You were innocent of it. It was belonging to them, their drama, their nonsense. So this is where you come, the sins of the fathers are visited on the children. That Bible verse, the sins of the father is visited on the children. Don't take on their sins. Don't take on their drama. You don't have to. When you see that really it had nothing to do with you, that it was a false notion, then you can realign yourself and let go of it and go forward in your life without that um, causing these knee-jerk reactionary uh, dramas that go into place, okay? So, again, let's review this real quickly. Karabda karma, we come in with it. If you want the sun and success and happiness, then you need to take time to refresh, renew yourself by coming more into alignment with the earth and just the natural flow of things. Spend time with the inner truth, looking more deeply at things, the wisdom of the heart, insight, clarity. You know, these things only come when you enter into a more still place and you can actually uh, look and disband, cut the knots of these dramas and learn from the past. You know, those that don't learn from the past, what is it they say? They are doomed to repeat it again. Okay. And these cycles, you'll see that these cycles will keep coming up again and again and again. The same type of cycle. We get chance after chance after chance to break the cycle, but we have to actually look at it and do the work if you're going to get beyond it. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here. I hope everyone is having a great Wednesday. This is my last day in this spot. Then I have to decide, do I want to just sh shift to another? Because there are a lot of places here. This, this is the biggest park in um, New Mexico. So there's definitely open places. <laughs> Do I want to stay here another day, another couple of days? I might, because uh, coming up is the, uh, I think it's Mother's Day weekend or something, a holiday, so uh, some of the parks might be quite full if I wanted to leave here. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, I just go with the flow. That's the way it works here. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. To the new listeners, welcome. For those that are hanging around, always good to have you here. If there is a reading, a topic you want to see talked about or read about, please put it in the comments. Thank you and have a great day. And what are you doing over there, Mr. Max? Oh, he's giving you the puppy face. <laughs> So I'm going to leave this here because it's time to take them O-U-T pretty soon. He's giving me that look. So I'll catch you online. Thanks for tuning in. Ahoy.